Hello, I'm Paul from Magaya. To send invoices or credit memos from your Magaya system to your QuickBooks online account, follow these steps. First, let's send one invoice to see how it works. Then I'll show you how to send a batch of invoices. In Magaya, go to the invoice list. Select an invoice. Right-click it and select Extensions. QuickBooks Online and send to QuickBooks Online. When the entity name and the items or services from the Magaya invoice are already in your QuickBooks Online company account, then everything matches. Click the Send button. The invoice is sent and you get a confirmation. In your Magaya system, see the confirmation in the invoice and you can also select the column QuickBooks ID to sort the list and see what needs to be sent. If something doesn't match between the two systems, such as a customer or an item or a service, the extension will mark what needs to be done. Let's see an example. In this invoice, the entity is flagged. Hover your mouse over it and click the Edit button. The options are to map or create. Let's explain that. If you know the entity is already in both systems, click Map to associate them together or to match them. If not, select Create, which will create a copy of the entity in your QuickBooks online account. If you know that an entity name is a match, but the name is not spelled exactly the same, you can still match them. This avoids duplicates. Now the flag is cleared and you can send the invoice. As a best practice to make the process run smoothly, Create all the accounts for your services in your QuickBooks online company before you start sending invoices. In the previous example, we saw an entity. Here, let's map a service. Click Map and select the account related to the service. You can also create a service and select an asset, expense, or income account for it. If you don't see the account, close the screen and enter it in your QuickBooks online account. Then return to the extension to complete it. If you see an error and have questions about it, you can call our support team. Now let's send a batch of invoices, all at once. You can select 2, 10, or over 100. More than 500 will take longer, so let's select these few to show how it works. Right-click and select Extensions, QuickBooks Online, and send to QuickBooks Online. The extension will show you a preview list of which ones are ready to be sent and which ones need attention first. You can also filter this list by status here. Click here to view the details of an invoice and click back to the list. In the list, you can apply a bulk fix here for any issues that these invoices have in common. This will fix them all at once. Back in the list, Click to send. Here's the result. Back in your Magaya system, you can see the QuickBooks ID column. That's how to send invoices individually or in bulk. And that's it. See our other videos and the Getting Started article in the knowledge base for everything you need to work with the Magaya extension for QuickBooks Online. Thanks for watching.